All right, just got in um, my uh, all the stuff I need to install my hummingbird fish finder. Um, just kind of opened the boxes here on the front porch. I've got a hummingbird battery, uh, the gel battery, seven amp hours uh, with the charger. Uh, I've got the RAM mount for the uh, the actual unit, the, the console unit uh, of the Hummingbird Helix 5. Got that there. I'm going to sh kind of showcase all the components uh, that I got and may hopefully make this uh, a little bit easier for some anyone else uh, watching this video who's maybe considering doing this, this fish finder install. A little Yak Attack screwball. This is a, a one inch um, and it's a mighty bolt so it, it adapts with gear track wilderness or native in my case or any gear track system got the one inch ball there um got the ram mount it's the flexible long transducer mount um and uh i'm gonna sh show you a little bit better how it how it all comes together on the kayak as i put it together uh, right now just kind of doing the unboxing of everything and uh i'll have a, an actual gear list at the end of the video as well so uh, also have another Yak Attack screwball, same as the as the one I just showed you with the Mighty Bolt, but this one is a one and a half um, ball there. And uh, got a couple of Hobie through hole um, ports here for the wiring for to do a clean install. And then uh, here is the actual Hummingbird Helix Five. I got the down imaging and the GPS. I didn't get the side scan. Side scan runs you about another $150, and for from a kayak and for what I was wanting to do, I just didn't see the need for it. Um, if you're doing a lot of trolling in a bigger boat or something, there might be a need for it, but I just didn't need to. So it's got a built-in map in it, uh, but you can also it's got a microchip, so you can get uh, Lake Master and some of the other um, some of the other mapping software out there uh, for various lakes. But anyhow. Um, this is the unit here it's a five inch uh display and um hummingbird helix five i will uh, i'm going to start on this install either this evening or tomorrow and i will i will kind of do a little do some updates with the um uh, video the, video the uh, progress and how i put it together and hopefully it can help someone else uh considering doing a install and i'll go a little more in depth as the video progresses All right, here are the are all the um, components for the Hummingbird Helix 5 install on the uh, Native Slayer 13 Propel. Um, I've already showed it when I first unboxed it, uh, unboxed it there on the porch, so I'm not going to go over it again. I just want to show it all laid out. Uh, one thing I did add is the um, the Native battery box, and that will go, or the battery bag, and that will go inside of the Native battery bag there. So uh, kayak is dusty, it's dirty, it's in my garage right now for uh, winter storage. So um, once it warms up just a little bit and I get out fishing, I'll clean it up. But for now, we're just going to do the install and not worry about it. So I'm going to get this battery charging here, the Hummingbird battery. Uh, go ahead and get it charging and then I will um, go ahead and uh, try to figure out which side of the boat I'm going to place everything on. All right, the uh, the install is finalized here, and I just want to kind of uh, just show what how everything looks um, now that it's all installed and basically the setup that I went with. I didn't go, I didn't do a transducer mount through the uh, scuppers because I this Hummingbird unit, the Helix Five with down imaging, um, it has a pretty large transducer as you can see there, um, and. It would just work out better to go this way so i'm going to go ahead and just um i went ahead and just done this this mount here that i can easily remove and uh i used hobie a hobie through hole here so all the wiring is hidden as i showed earlier down here uh, between this this through hole and the battery which is mounted under this hatch cover so um i can slide this all this is on a track system here this ram mount it's on a mighty bolt um and also this uh, the transducer mount arm. This is an aluminum rod that I bent. You can bend it. It comes straight and you bend it to whatever angle that you want. I've got this rubber banded just to keep it from wiggling around. And I'm going to have to come up with a better system for whenever I'm going down the road. 
But anyhow, this is just for my garage. But anyhow, you can just, um, whenever you get to the water, you can swivel this down. Like I said, this is an aluminum rod. It looks like it's some sort of a flexible thing, but it's actually rigid. Um, this is just a flexible pipe cover, basically. And I've just got the transducer wire zip tied to it, as you can see. So um, when you come in shallow to launch the boat or to beach it or whatever, you can just swing this right up. If you're just going creek fishing and you don't want all this stuff in your way, you can easily remove all this. You can just unplug everything here, take off this ball mount, take off this ball mount, stick it on the shelf, and take this wiring and just, you know, coil it up here out of your way. And you won't have to have this on the boat all the time. Uh, if you have multiple kayaks, you could also uh, just, you know, mount a battery in your other kayak and run, uh, get you uh, spare wires. Um, and you could basically, you could pretty much just go ahead and take this off of one kayak and install it on, a second, on your second kayak. Uh, pretty easily. So it gives you some flexibility this ram ball mount here um, You can just loosen it up. I mean if you've ever used any ram mounts, you know how easy it is You can swivel this head any way you want to um, One thing I wanted to point the only hardware that you're gonna need is you're gonna need some of the, some little bolts here um, To attach the the gimbal mount here that comes with the with the hummingbird to the plate that's made for the helix series uh, from ram you can buy that from ACK or you know some other online retailers. I got, I... So this is just showing um, basically how it works and how I got it set up and it's a clean install. I'm happy with it. Very minimal, nothing to get in the way. Um, and uh, So basically the material list that I gave earlier at the, at the beginning of the video that showed all the different components and I can list it all out. The only thing that I did not have that I had to do was I had to come up with these balls I just put two there's a there's a spacing for four different holes here I just did two because that's all that's necessary you might want to do four but I mean it's completely <laughs> together I put up washers and also a, spl a split uh, locking washer there to keep it from possibly backing out so it's really secure also where I attached the um, to this to this ram out here where the transducer was I took a hacksaw and I had to cut off just a little bit here in order to get the clearance that I need because it was wanting to hit uh, the bottom of the transducer here. So I went ahead and just took a hacksaw and trimmed off just a maybe a 3 16 maybe a quarter inch, not even. Um, so that gave it plenty of clearance for this thing to swivel um, if need be. So got a lot of flexibility here um, and I recommend this setup. So basically I just wanted to, uh, the biggest trouble I had when I was getting ready to do this was coming up with the material list, all the different components that I would need to make this install work without getting halfway through it and realizing I was missing something and have to order it and wait. So hopefully this video will help. I didn't really do a how-to on how to run everything because it's pretty basic, but I um, want to help anybody who possibly wants to install this to get all of the different components at one time ordered. So when they start the install, you can have it done in you know a couple hours easily uh, if you've got everything here. So uh, like, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll be having more um, how-to videos and especially fishing videos here coming soon. Thanks for watching.